What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here in this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys. I have some good news in these in this like sea of red days that we've been having, and that is the fact that we have hit once again three thousand players or three thousand accounts that have purchased a wild season permit this season. So we're only about a third of the way through the season, so there's still plenty of time to go. And in the past couple of seasons, I've seen people come in, or accounts come in and buy the permit all the way up until the last day. So considering that we're already at 3,000 or over 3,000, uh, I, I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that we could get up close to where we were last, se last season, which was about 3,179. Um, and uh, again, I, to me, the reason I keep harping on this is because this is a very positive sign. We're seeing consistency here. And while sentiment is negative and crypto is down and all that, we are seeing folks that want to participate in this ecosystem. They're willing to pay, right? These are paying customers coming back every season for more, whether it's their, their ROI min-maxing or they just want to play the game and they're willing to pay the, the season pass because they get you know all the cool stuff in Wild uh, and they, they get to play with all their old cards. What, whatever the case is, that is what we are seeing. And I know I did a video a little while back saying that this could potentially change dramatically once vouchers are no longer available because that, that proposal did pass to remove utility. And I don't know when that's going to come in. I think that'll be on the team to uh, decide when they're going to implement that. My hope would be sooner rather than later. But again, keep in mind, I would be prepared for a massive kind of um, dip in terms of the amount of players because as you can see here, we are primarily burning vouchers for these passes, right? So I, I don't have the percentages off the top of my head, but well, I guess it's like 2,500 out of 3,000. I mean, this is this is more than 80%, right? This is like 83, 84, 85% uh, this season and then probably in the last couple of seasons as well. So shifting that over to DEC, you know, DEC is still at uh, maybe like 40% below its peg, uh, but not anywhere near vouchers. Vouchers are like more than 80% below peg, right? We're closing in on like 90% below. Well, I should say peg because there's no peg for vouchers but 90 percent of a discount overall so right now it makes absolute sense for people to be coming in and using vouchers but if we were to switch to dec and we were to keep the same amount of players which again i don't think would happen but we'll let's live in a dream world here for a second i mean three thousand uh times three thousand uh players times two thousand dec if i'm doing my math in my head right that would be about six million uh dec that we'd be burning every season right as of now we've burned um about six seven hundred and six thousand dec so again it's not much right when you th when you think about what we're doing right now if we normally burn a million a day through all of the other various activities market activity land all of that i mean we're, we're burning seven hundred thousand for an entire season on this it's not much it's only 353 players that are actually burning decb and i'm not counting uh, i think i think i'm just counting dec yeah so i'm not i'm not counting credits which i probably should be or decb i mean decb at this point that's that's uh it's already been factored in but either way you know even if you were to add this in it's not a significant amount I, that probably wouldn't even put us over a million um maybe just close to like eight hundred thousand or something or, or 900,000. Uh, so vouchers are still the primary burn that is happening here. And even then, even with that, we're not burning anywhere close to what we would need to get, become voucher neutral, let alone voucher negative. So either way, I, I, I still view this as a very positive thing. It's something that's showing consistency despite all the red, uh, red candle days, despite all the negative sentiment. We're still seeing players or accounts come in and that it is worthwhile for them to continue running, whether they're enjoying it from an entertainment standpoint, whether they're doing it as a play to earn standpoint, it doesn't matter. They're still here and they're still participating every single season so far. So we'll see how that changes. Um, and I, again, I don't know when the vouchers will be removed as, uh, as a payment form, but I do expect that to be somewhat drastic. But then keep in mind, you should be able to earn more SPS per win at that point because there's less people dipping into the pool. Uh, although, you know, what's the value of SPS anymore with that thing going to <laughs> with that thing essentially going to zero? So just wanted to share this with you as a little bit of a bright spot overall. We're seeing consistency over the last four seasons, which is two months, right? I mean, two months, pretty much this entire summer at this point. So keep that in the back of your mind whenever you're thinking about how sad everything is in the world and in Splinterlands. But um, just wanted to share with you. Hopefully it brightens your day a little bit. And if you have any insights for those of you that are playing either your main, your alt accounts, what you know, I, I'm curious to know 
if and when the voucher utility rem uh, gets removed, will you still pay the DEC fee, right, 2000 DEC, to participate in the wild season or with the wild season permit? So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.